Hello and welcome back to Math for Today. Uh, this is fifth grade's week three, day three. All right, let's go ahead and get started on number one. Number one says to write an expression for the calculation, triple four, and then add seven times seven. Oh my goodness, here's one of those questions where we have to follow directions. So let's underline some important information here. So we see triple four and then add seven times seven. So the first thing we need to do, how do we triple something? Well, we multiply it by three, of course, and then it says to add seven times seven, okay? And because we do this first, we're gonna put parentheses around that and then the seven times seven. And that's it. It says just to write an expression. Now, if you took it a step further and you solved it, that's absolutely fine. So four times three is 12 plus seven times seven is 49, okay? And we can add over here, 49 plus 12, 9, 10, 11, carry the one, four plus one is five, and five plus one is six. So that's if you solved it, but we only needed to write an expression. Okay, number two says to complete the table. Um, so let's look for a pattern. So we have one through six here. It's telling us what to do. It says add one and then add three. So I have one, one plus one is two, and then one plus three is four. Okay, I see a pattern, so let's follow it. Two plus one is three, okay? Two plus three is five, okay? Three plus one is four, and three plus three is six. Four plus one is five, and four plus three is seven. Are you seeing a pattern here? I am, I see one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I wonder what that number is going to be. Let's keep going. Five plus one is six, and five plus three is eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you think this number is? Let's keep going. Six plus one is seven, and six plus three is nine. We've just completed that entire table. Very good, here we go, number three. All right, so this problem looks exactly like the one we did for number one. All right, do you remember um, PEMDAS? I'm just gonna write PEMDAS. And remember that stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we're gonna do what comes first. We have parentheses, so we need to do what is in the parentheses first. So four plus six is, what do you get? Okay, you should have said 10. Nine minus four is five. Okay, so those are the parentheses. I'm gonna bring this division sign down, okay? And if you want to write that out, this is what that looks like written out, okay? Five uh, goes into 10 how many times? And of course that would be two because if I multiply five times two, I would get 10, okay? So my answer, okay, because my quotient here is two. So that is my answer to that entire problem. All right, number four is a fraction. I love fractions. Let's go over here and we're going to um, set our problem up. I love doing four square, okay? Because that's a strategy that helps me to organize my thinking. So I'm looking at my denominators, five and 10. So I'm gonna write those out. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I think I can stop right there. And we're gonna do 10. So we have 10, 20, 30. And because I have nothing in my 30 here, I'm gonna stop. But I see 10 and 20, 10 and 20, but I'm looking for the least common denominator. And that's gonna be 10 between both of these numbers. So which fraction needs to change? Well, two fifths, of course. 
Okay, so I'm going to write that down here. Two fifths, one multiplied by five is going to give me 10. So I can look over here, one, two. So that would be two. Whatever I do to the denominator, I must do the same to the numerator. So I'm going to also multiply that by two. My new renamed fraction here is four tenths. Now, don't forget our original problem was an addition problem. So we still need to add here. So we have four tenths. And we're going to add straight across and we're going to get 9 plus 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my goodness. What type of fraction is this when the numerator is larger than the denominator? That is called an improper fraction. So we need to simplify that. And this is how we simplify by um, dividing. Okay, and I'll show you a shortcut in class. Okay, because I don't want to confuse you here. So we're going to write this out. 10 goes into 13 how many times? Once. Okay, 1 times 10 is 10. I'm going to subtract. 13 minus 10 is 3. And so my quotient up here, so 1 becomes my whole number. The 3, um, or your remainder, because if you wrote it, remainder 3, right? Your 3 is now your numerator. And your um, divisor is your dividend. And we are done. So this answer here is one and three tenths. All right, everyone. I will see you tomorrow.